Hello friends welcome to the truth of God Jesus Christ is Lord channel. Here is another reaction video with Pastor Gino Jennings. We believe that Jesus Christ is Lord and he is the creator of heaven and earth according to the scriptures. This channel is for educational purposes only. Let's watch and learn together. Now listen at this. I beseech you therefore brethren by the mercies of God. And what? That ye present your bodies. How should we bring ourselves? That ye present your bodies. Let's talk about that. Mm. When you listen, when you present something willingly, mm. nobody got to beg you. No. Especially when you want them to have it. That's right. When you want them to have it, no one got to argue with you, fuss with you, fight with you, plead with you. No. Now, notice how God wants everybody in Harrisburg and you can stick the rest of the world to it. That ye present your bodies. How do God want us to come? Present your bodies a living sacrifice. Do you hear this? Amen. Now, if I present myself to God, I come to him willingly. That's right. Not by force. No, no one got to drag me to it. No. I come because I realize I owe God everything. Amen. Yeah. That's right. Oh, yes, you do. God, now you bear in mind, God don't owe us nothing. Nothing. He come along and done everything possible yeah. to give you a chance to get right. That's right. In the Old Testament, he kept sending prophets. He sent Moses. He sent Elijah. He sent Elisha. He sent Isaiah, Jeremiah, Daniel, Ezekiel, Nahum, Neremiah. He just sent prophets one after the other, and many of the prophets the people hated so bad, they murdered them. Murdered them. That's right. And that's the way many people feel whenever God sent a man. That's right. Kill him. Kill him. He's too rude. Mm -hmm. He's too mean. Yeah. He's too harsh. Mm -hmm. He don't preach with love. Oh, well. Ha, 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 ha. That's what they say about me. That's right. That Pastor Jennings don't preach to with love. He's arrogant. He's full of himself. Away with I'm such a fellow. I'm not full of myself. I'm full of the Holy Ghost. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Amen. That's right. And because God gave me a message, thank God to shake the devil that's in you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know these preachers out here that God of heaven didn't send them? No. You know no. why? Because the devil in you cooperate with them. That's right. But whenever God sent a man, that message God give that man antagonize. Yes, it will. That devil in you. That's right. But when the devil sent a preacher, mm -hmm. the devil in you is pacified. Oh, so yeah. the devil sent a preacher, he come to you and pet you. And tell you, nice hypocrite. <laughs> nah, he pet you. <laughs> That's right. Nice hypocrite. That's nice right. devil. That's right. Nice homosexual. Mm. He pet you. Nice cigarette sucker. Amen. Nice stripper. Nice party That's, goer. That's right. Amen. He pet you. That's right. Here come the word of God. Come by God permission mm. and Knock over everything under the sun. Oh, yeah. Glory to God that don't cooperate with God. That's right. Yeah. That ye present your bodies. What you got to do? That ye present your bodies. What kind? A living sacrifice. Holy. Now, in the Old Testament, brothers and sisters, when they offered up a sacrifice, they had to offer it according to the terms. That the Lord laid. That's right. You had water offering, bread offering, but then you had what was called a meat offering that was required to be offered by fire. That's right. You brothers can come on up. There's some chairs here. Come on, come on now. Let's come on and get seated quickly, please. There was a whole burnt offering. Yes. Now. A whole burnt offering when they took a lamb or a goat and placed it on the altar, then that sacrifice was set on fire. That's right. And it had a burn. You bear in mind, 
They couldn't just burn the feet and miss the head. Couldn't just burn the head and miss the tail. They had to offer the whole burnt sacrifice on the altar. They shall teach Jacob thy judgment. Listen at this. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 33 and at verse 10. I want to show you this which will give you a better understanding what God want out of the world. Deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 10. All right. They shall teach Jacob thy judgment. They shall teach Jacob thy judgment and, and Israel, Israel thy, thy law. law. They shall put incense before thee. Now, in the Old Testament, you had to offer incense before the Lord. That's right. And? And whole burnt sacrifice. How much of the sacrifice? Whole burnt sacrifice. Ernest, is that you, Brother Ernest? Thank God to see you. How much? Whole burnt sacrifice Where? upon thine altar. All right. Now, when they offered up the sacrifice, after the sacrifice, incense was given. Incense. Now, the incense in the New Testament church, give me the book of Revelation, Amen. is not something we're setting up and then lighting it. No, we ain't doing that in the New Testament church. We got to show you what incense represents, which are the prayers of the saints. In the book of Revelation chapter 8. Listen. Revelation chapter 8, we're at verse 3. Follow me. And another angel came and stood at the altar, and having a golden incense, having a golden censer. Having a golden censer. And there was given unto him much incense. There was given unto him much much incense. Incense. That he should offer it with the prayer. That he should offer it with the prayer. Of all saints. Of what? Of all saints. So just like in the Old Testament, first you had the sacrifice. Right. Then you had the incense. And the smoke of the incense. And then the result of the incense, what? Which came with the prayers <laughs> of the saints. Glory to God. A what happened? A sin it up before God. It go up before God. Out of the angel's hand. Now, you are the sacrifice now. That's right. You got to present yourself now. That's right. And you got to do it willingly. Mm -hmm. willingly. Willingly. In other words, you don't come to obey God because your boyfriend do it. No. You don't come to obey God because your girlfriend do it. No, no. You got to come and obey God for yourself. That's right. The Bible says, save yourself from this untoward generation. That's save right. yourself. yourself. You have to want God for yourself. Come now. For yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. Not because somebody else is doing it. This is a personal salvation. That's right. Hey, That's right. You have to do it. Why? Because you have to go to God for yourself, with yourself, and by yourself. That's right. Because you bear in mind when God come for you, Mr. Man, Mr. Woman, when God come for you, he ain't going to skip over you and get somebody else. No. No, God going to get you. That's right. Do what? That Present your body. Present your bodies. A living sacrifice. What kind? A living sacrifice. Now, in the Old Testament, the sacrifice was dead when it was presented. Yeah. Now, God wanted how? A living sacrifice. All right, Harrisburg. Living. God wants you alive. Living. You're living now. Mm -hmm. And God wants you to offer yourself now. Well, mm -hmm. Pastor Dennis, what is it about me that God wants me to offer up so willingly? Mm -hmm. All right. He wants you to offer up your mind. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Why? Because the mind that you have now is of the devil. Yeah. And God wants you to freely and willingly offer up your mind so he can take it over and teach you how to think like him. That's right. Glory to God. That's right. What else, Pastor Jenny? God wants you to offer up your heart. Heart. Because you got a lot of wicked feelings in there. Oh, yeah. Thank God. And if God cleanse your heart and purify your heart and let the word of God take over your heart, you will feel about sin the way God feel about sin. That's right. And you will hate the wickedness that is in yourself. That's right. Huh? Amen. What, what else? Glory to God. Though I got to offer up, He wants you to offer up your eyes. Because you always want to see something that God don't want you to look at. That's right. Huh? That's right. He wants you to offer up your ears. Because yeah. you always want to hear something you ain't got no business listening to. Amen. 
God wants you to offer up your hands because you're always touching something. You ain't got no business touching. That's right. God certainly wants you to offer up your feet. That way you don't walk in the club. And you don't walk in the bar. And you don't walk in that false church. That's right. Well, how much of myself do God want me to offer? The whole thing. That's right. From your head, hallelujah, down to your feet. Amen. He wants you to offer the whole body. The whole thing. Do you hear what the Apostle Paul tells us? That ye present your bodies. Present what? Your bodies. No, just body part. Your bodies. The whole thing. Amen. Amen. You know why God wants the whole thing? Because none of your body belong to you. That's right. Eh? That's right. Don't you know why you're here? Do you know why you're here? Give me the 43rd chapter, chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. Amen. And begin at verse, uh, I believe, uh, verse 8, if you will. Or rather, verse 6. Verse 6. All right. Isaiah 43 and at verse 6. Let's hear that what I want. I will say to the north, give up. All right. Glory to God. Amen. To the north. Give up. To the north. To the north. To the north. Every, everything, everything on the northern part of America got to do what? Give up. Oh, everything in the northern part of the world. Oh, yeah. You got to give up. Give up. What else? And to the south. Oh, he didn't forget the south? And to the south. What? Keep not back. Do you hear that? Amen. Now, let's look at your body. Mm. Amen. Your mind is in the north. Go ahead. Your productive organs is in the south. Right. Ah! That's right. God wants you to bring your mind. That's why he still let this mind be in you. That's also in Christ Jesus. So he wants you to bring your northern part, wants you to bring your mind so your mind can be like his. And he don't want the southern nature of yourself to keep that back from him. That's right. And I will say to the north. I will say to the north. Give up. Give up. And to the south. And to your lower nature. Keep not back. Oh, hallelujah. hallelujah. Keep not back. Bring my sons from far oh. and my daughters. I don't care where you're far, where you're from, how yeah. far you live. That's right. Where you come from. That's why this message now is falling in Australia and, and Sweden and New Zealand yeah. and Iceland and Japan and the Congo and amen. All around the world, people are getting it. That's right. All around the Asiatic world, they're getting it. Amen. God want everybody to give up. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing about people. They don't want to give up what they love. Oh, no. Huh? That's right. Oh, let you might as well say amen. You, amen. You know everything you love is not right. No. Amen. That's why it's hard to obey God. That's right. Huh? That's right. Any, any, any preacher come telling you, well, obeying God is yeah, very easy. You know he's a child, he's a child of hell. Amen. Obeying God is the toughest thing to do. Oh, yes. Why? Oh, anytime you got to live a life opposite from what you used to live in. That's right. And you know it's not in you to live a life opposite from the way you used to live it. You're used to getting ready on Friday to go shake your hips. <laughs> That's right. That's <laughs> and right. You're used to, man, every old devilish song that somebody play. You're used to bobbing your head and popping your finger and just going out there shaking. Yeah. Your face is all cut up. <laughs> yeah. That's right. Hey man, you're used to <laughs> you're used to be out there. You're used to putting your lipstick on and you're used to putting holes in your ears and fake fingernails and Hey Amen. Wearing mini skirts and splits in your clothes. You're used to doing that. That's right. Wearing something that's cut as low as my jacket so your cleavage can be advertised. That's right. You're used to it. Amen. Brother, you're used to blowing on that dice and shooting that crap game and yeah. cueing your stick and shooting Preaching that right. pole. Preach ah! Amen. You're used to it. That's right. Now the Lord God of Moses Amen. and the Lord God of Abraham Hallelujah. and the Lord God of Isaac and Jacob Hallelujah. say he wants you to present your body a living sacrifice and he's telling you I'm not going to beg you for it Go ahead, present. The, Bible, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. the Bible says whosoever will let him come come on whosoever Hallelujah. 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 Yeah. whosoever will whosoever. come on 
Go ahead. God let you know I'm not going to beg you. That's right. I'm not going to plead with you. That's right. And that God know I got right to your body. That's right. I made you for my glory. That's right. I gave your eyes to see. Preacher. Gave your hands to feel. Preacher. Gave your feet to walk. Go ahead. Gave you a mouth so you can express your gratitude. Go ahead. Huh? I will say to the Lord. Hallelujah, take God. Hallelujah. What did he say? I will say to the north. Hallelujah, take God. Hallelujah. I will say to the north. Give up. He gave you a mouth mm. so you can say thank you, Jesus. That's right. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Hallelujah. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Comment below, like, share, and subscribe. See you soon. Hope you guys learned something from this. God bless you.